Oh boy. Alright. So the other night, I was uh, up real late watching a scary TV show. And, um, like, horror movies and stuff don't bother me because I know they're fake. However, uh, this TV show is called uh, Paranormal Witness, and it's a show about people who recount <clears throat> hauntings and uh, strange events that have happened to them. That kind of stuff really freaks me out. The ghost hunting shows don't freak me out so much because I think half of that shit's fake too. But I've had enough experiences of my own where when I hear somebody else retelling a story of something that happened to them, I get the chills. <laughs> and, um,. So yeah, that's like a, yeah, I do believe in ghosts. On the other hand, I do think that if you think you're being haunted, that you should try and uh, rule out any possible, reasonable explanation. Because uh, a lot of people who think that they're being haunted actually just have something broken in their house or it's plumbing or whatever, so. You can believe, but I wouldn't run out and say uh, as soon as you hear something go bump in the night that you automatically assume that it's a ghost. And I'm gonna punch this lady's mirror off when we get to the next light, I swear to God. She does not get off my butt. But I digress. But anyway, so yes, yeah, so I watched the show at like 2.30 in the morning when I was done watching and basically I was scared shitless and I didn't want to like get off the couch. And this is because I've lived in a haunted house for the past seven years and after I did some remodeling to the house, things kind of quieted down, so it made me wonder what was real and what was not. However, uh, one time when um, the house two doors down from me was for rent, a lady showed up and uh, told me an interesting story. So basically, after I moved into the house, and it was a little bit before I had kiddo and I don't know, the house just felt creepy. When we looked at the house, it didn't feel creepy during the day, but uh, it started bringing stuff over there in the evening after work and Stuff and um, yeah, I just had totally had that feeling that I was being watched and I didn't want to be alone in the house. <clears throat> in fact, the one time I felt so strongly that there was somebody standing right there that I, it, well, yeah, most people bolt out of their house. I don't know, I kind of had a feeling that the master bedroom was safe, so I bolted up to the master bedroom, slammed the door shut, and then like, didn't come out until the sun came up. And shortly after my daughter was born, I had one of those pack and play portable crib things, and that was uh, in the living room. And I have a dog. And the dog was under the couch. The kid was asleep in the pack and play. And the living room is uh, 
open into the dining room and I was sitting at uh, my desk, which is in the dining room, because heaven forbid you could actually use it for eating. And um, I was sitting at my desk and I could see, you know, straight through the living room. Uh, yeah, I saw an apparition. Basically, uh, and there were no features to it. It was more of like a shadow person type of deal that materialized on uh, one side of the room, walked to the other side of the room, and disappeared into the wall. And, um, yeah, I should have stopped there, but fuck it. So, I could have called myself crazy at this point, except at the exact moment that this thing appeared in my living room, the dog comes flying out from underneath my couch, and my kid wakes up and starts crying, and these both happen simultaneously, so it's not like the dog's barking and woke the kid up. Simultaneously, the kid starts crying, the dog comes flying out, and she runs after it right to the spot where it disappears into the wall. That freaked me out. And I've also had other things like lights turning themselves on and off, which still happens, and um, faucets turning themselves on and off. And uh, started doing some remodeling. And my child's father tried to convince me that, you know, the thing with the faucet is the plumbing and that uh, if we do a lot of work on the house, that that shit's going to stop. So basically, had and all this is mostly happened in the bathroom. So did the bathroom, all new piping, new sink, new, new bathtub, new shower, new everything in there, and um, that's happening. Bosses would turn themselves on. Oh, it's the water pressure. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> we replaced everything and it's still doing it. Whatever. And um, I've had my bed shaken while I've been lying in it, not asleep, uh, awake. So, a few things that have happened around the house that make me go, hmm. So, That all started a couple of years ago. The house two doors down from me was for rent. And um, it was summertime. I was sitting out back having a beer or something. And it's in the evening, so you know, they're not showing the house, but uh. A lady come from around the front of the house and walked into the backyard. And she called over and says hi to me and, uh, you know, it asked me if I knew the landlord and knew how much he was renting the house out for, which I didn't. And it turns out that she lived in that house years and years and years ago. The houses were built in 1952. And she lived there a long time ago, like in the 70s or 80s or something. And I owned my house, but at the time, uh, she told me the whole block was owned by one guy and he rented them out. And his son or something lived in one of them. And uh, then she proceeds to tell me this story about her previous property owner's son and how he was murdered right out behind my house. I just go, oh, okay, well, that explains a lot. And um, it was around this time, I had had my kitchen torn out and the new kitchen put in, and um, I had only other seen the, the apparition one other time in my house, but, uh, you know, after she told me what had happened, 
you know, I'd gone to my house and, you know, I never felt physically threatened by whatever it was. You know, it didn't make shit fly off the walls or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, I didn't feel like it was trying to kill me, but it was definitely there. And it was definitely creepy feeling being watched. So now I know who the guy is, who goes or whatever. So I made peace with it, and I told him that, you know, since I don't feel like he's trying to hurt me, it's cool if he's hanging out or whatever, but, you know, whatever he was there for is no longer there, and he needs, you know, to seriously consider moving on. And ever since then, I haven't really had any problem in my house. You either calm down or laugh. Because every now and then, something happens that makes me wonder, but not so much anymore. You know, I don't mind living there now, but uh, that's my ghost story. So, uh, I'm gonna say that if any of you have had a paranormal experience that uh, maybe you should make a vlog about it, make a, a video response to this. And uh, yeah, I won't think you're crazy. The rest of you probably think I'm crazy, but what happened happened, and that's not the only, that's not the only uh, experiences that I've had. So yeah, make a video response to me or send me your story. <laughs> And uh, I'll see you guys next time.